I just want to call your attention to something you may remember, you may not. It was, at this point, must feel like years and years and years ago. Uh, when you came to Hilbert College, as I say to every student that begins at orientation, your degree is not complete the day that you receive your diploma at graduation. Maria Marcilia, Bachelor of Science Accountant. Instead, it comes to fruition the day when you go out into the world and use it to serve those most in need. That's truly what a Franciscan education is all about. And that's ultimately what graduates at Hilbert are called to do. So today, in some respects, is not the end. It's just the beginning. And you're not leaving Hilbert so much as going forth and taking Hilbert with you. And we stand with you in all that you'll do in the future, and we couldn't be more proud. And we want you to know, no matter what, we are here to support you, to remind you of your goodness, to remind you that you are loved, and should you ever forget those things, we would invite you to come home to Hilbert College, where you will always have a family to support you. So that being said, I just want to begin our day with a brief blessing from the words of St. Francis of Assisi. And I pray that these words will be a reminder to you that we are always with you as you go forth. So let us begin. May God bless and keep you. May God smile upon you and have mercy upon you. May God turn his face towards you and give you peace. May God bless you. Amen. Congratulations. And let us begin. Good afternoon. I am Dr. Maureen Finney, Hilbert College Provost and Vice President for Academic Affairs. On behalf of the administration, staff, faculty, and trustees, I would like to welcome you to the 60th commencement of Hilbert College. I would now like to welcome Sister Marcia Ann Fietko, a member of the Hilbert College Board of Trustees, to offer the invocation. Peace in all good things, let us pray. Good and gracious God, you are indeed awesome. We praise and thank you for you have gifted us with this amazing class of 2021 who stand on the cusp of unleashing their talents to transform our world into a caring place where all are recognized as brothers and sisters to one another. We praise and thank you for our innovative president, Dr. Brophy, his astute academic team, dedicated faculty, and untiring staff who have nurtured our graduates not only with the academic skills they need to be successful in life, but also in a true Franciscan spirit, have immersed them in a community of caring, which means they will always be able to call Hilbert home. We praise and thank you for all others who have also supported our graduates by their love, sacrifices, and listening ear 
that is, their family, friends, alums, and benefactors. We ask that you bless our graduates with the spirit of Mother Colette Hilbert, after whom Hilbert College is named. When they face adversity in life, like she did, may they not give up, but rather trusting in your divine providence, O oh God. May they roll up their sleeves and work tirelessly for solutions that benefit the common good of all. When they see someone struggling, whether it is here or across the globe, may they reach out in charity, not judging, but instead using their voice and talents to raise up the most vulnerable in our society. When they see people at odds with one another, may they be the ones to be a Franciscan reconciler. When they find themselves weary, May they take the time to refill their picture with your inspiration, O oh God. When they find themselves blessed, may they share that Franciscan joy by celebrating life in a myriad of ways. Finally, in whatever circumstances they find themselves, may they truly live in all things charity. Lord, bless this wonderful class of 2021, keeping them happy, healthy, and holy. Amen. Thank you, sister. I would now like to introduce Hilbert College President, Dr. Michael Brophy, for the presentation of the Hilbert College Medal and the President's Medal. The President's Medal, one of Hilbert College's highest honors, recognizes faculty and staff for extraordinary commitment and service to higher education and for exemplifying our Franciscan values. The 2021 President's Medal is proudly bestowed upon Sharon Sisti and Dr. Chris Suda. I'd like to call forward Professor Sharon Sisti. Professor Sharon Sisti has been a fixture at Hilbert College since she joined the faculty in 1995. A graduate of SUNY Fredonia, where she earned a Bachelor of Science degree in Music Education, and of the State University of New York at Buffalo, where she earned a Master's of Social Work. Professor Sisti came to Hilbert with extensive professional experience and expertise, which she integrates into her classes to help prepare human services majors for their future careers. Professor Sisti has been recognized for her work both in the field and at Hilbert College. She received the NSAW Western Division Social Worker of the Year Award, the William B. Hoyt Memorial Advocacy Award, Child and Family Services, the UB School of Social Work Alumni Association Award, the William B. Hoyt Award Erie County Coalition Against Family Violence, the Excellence in Service Award from Hilbert College, and the Excellence in Teaching Award from our Hilbert College students. This impressive list of accomplishments pales in comparison, though, to Professor Sisti's dedication and commitment to her students and colleagues. For her colleagues, she is a steady, calming presence, inviting people to conversations and ensuring that all voices are heard. A passionate advocate for the most vulnerable in our society, Professor Sisti instills in her students the importance of equity, compassion, and empathy. Whether in an introduction to human services class or in the human services senior seminar, students know they will be asked to think deeply about how they can serve their communities and address inequities in the world around them. When students speak about Professor Sisti, words like amazing, supportive, and inspirational are mentioned often. Through her embodiment of Hilbert's Franciscan values, Professor Sisti inspires her students to find the courage to be change makers in society. Congratulations, 
Professor Sisti. Okay. like to call forward Dr. Christopher Suda. Dr. Suda? Right here. Dr. Christopher Suda, Director of Counseling, Health and Wellness, joined the Hilbert family in the fall 2019 semester as Interim Director of Counseling and was promoted to the position of Director of Counseling, Health and wellness in 2020. Assisting him are two graduate interns under his mentorship as they complete their counseling degrees. Dr. Suda graduated with the first cohort at St. Bonaventure's Hilbert College Satellite Program in 1997. After many years away, Dr. Suda came back as an adjunct within the Bonaventure program and then as a full-time member of the St. Bonaventure faculty. He completed his Bachelor of Arts in Psychology Master of Science in Counselor Education, and his PhD in Psychology. Dr. Suda's presence, for sure, on the campus has been a great comfort to us during the pandemic. He has done an outstanding job in helping all of us through these times. He serves as the co-chair of the Health and Safety Committee of the Campus Comeback Task Force, appointed by myself, good choice, I think. In addition to his leadership, with the pandemic crisis, he continues to support our students' mental health needs. In addition, Dr. Suda serves on the college's care team, working to address individual student concerns and serves as guest presenter to numerous classes, athletic teams, residential students, and yes, at times, very uh, in need of wisdom presidents. Dr. Suda, thank you so much for your service to the college. Thank you. Get one more picture, Chris. It is with tremendous gratitude and with distinct honor that Hilbert College bestows Russell A. Corigliano with the 2021 Hilbert College Medal, the college's highest recognition. This award is presented to those in our community who embody our Franciscan values, demonstrate excellence in their profession or career, and excel in community service. Sounds familiar, right? <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Carigliano uh, first joined the Hilbert Board of Trustees in May 2012, but his relationship with Hilbert College goes back to 1998. From that first connection through a gift to a college event, he immersed himself in supporting the institution both personally and through his company, Rosina Food Products. He proudly saw his daughter, Andrea Carigliano Augustine, uh, graduate from Hilbert in 2010 and then go on to serve the Hilbert Alumni Board in 2015 and 2016. His nephew Matthew Corigliano also graduated from Hilbert in 2015. His service to the Board of Trustees, which sadly will end in May 2021, exemplifies Russ's dedication and leadership. In addition to the extraordinary charitable support, both personally and from his business, he has ably served at or chaired on almost every board committee, including currently as chair of the trustees committee. That committee oversees the important work of identifying and recruiting community and business leadership for board service. Additionally, in 2019, Russ served as co-chair of the installation for our Hilbert president, Dr. Michael Brophy. Always willing to serve and lead, Russ's spirit and determination in support of Hilbert and the Franciscan heritage and values is unwavering. Russ's work ethic, determination, and his loyalty was instilled in him at an early age. 
The son of James and Rose Carigliano, Russ joined the family business, Rosina Foods, in the mid-1970s. The business was founded by his father in 1963, humbly starting as a storefront sausage business and named after his mother, Rose, Rosina in Italian. In 1981, the business moved to, into a larger facility, providing the expansion needed to offer their products throughout the country. And in 1997, Russ and his brother Frank, Frank assumed leadership of Rosina Foods, where Russ continues to serve as president and CEO. Five members of the Criglio, Crigliano family work in the business, a reflection of the family legacy and devotion to the community that his parents impressed upon him. Russ is known to often say, we go to work, we take care of our customers, and we take care of each other. This approach to work and family makes Russ's service to Hilbert so meaningful and impactful because it is so similar to ours. Hilbert's mission reflects our dedication to providing students with individual attention and support while also allowing them to grow and explore new challenges, like a family does. Russ's entrepreneurial spirit, entrepreneurial spirit, spirit has been such a gift to Hilbert and to our alumni, students, faculty, and staff who are the proud beneficiaries of that support. For his tireless devotion to Hilbert College and his gifts of time, talent, and treasure to ensure the success of our students, faculty, and staff, we proudly recognize Russell A. Corigliano with the 2021 Hilbert College Medal. Now Russ, before Father Mike presents you with the medal, there are a few people who would like to share their wishes and congratulations to you. So please enjoy this short presentation that we have prepared. I want to say congratulations to you. I would say congratulations on the honor. I know that it's well-deserved. Very proud of you, well-deserving. I think that there's probably no one else that would um, deserve this more than you. Russ is an amazing guy. I mean, he's certainly a, a very capable and qualified leader for the organization. Um, I would kind of call him a, uh, a jack of all trades. First, a family man. He's funny, he's serious. Russ is very is a very passionate individual. But he is always there for us, and he it just has a really big heart. Very trustworthy. But frankly, one of the things that impresses me most about Russ is his real uh, desire to make a personal connection with every associate here at Rosina. And no matter what your position, he truly respects everyone and uh, tries to take care of everyone. And he's so smart. He's very loving and he, I mean, I couldn't ask for a better dad. Um, he's really just a really, really good person all around. 10 years is a long time and I know you enjoyed it. And I'm sure they enjoyed having you on the board. You're so hardworking and well-deserving of this award. I know how much you enjoyed being on the board and how much you love to contribute. Congratulations and well-deserved. Uh, you're always well-respected by all your peers. I think Russ is very deserving of the honor. If he puts in 25% of the amount of effort uh, towards the Hilbert board that he does to Rosina, he's probably far surpassed one of your best board members ever. Well, my message to Russ is, is certainly congratulations on receiving the honor. It's extremely well-deserved. Uh, I know that Hilbert benefited from your many years of participation, and I will, frankly, be, be happy to have him back on a full-time basis dedicated to Rosina again after his term expires. Congrats, Russ, on, on receiving this honor. Certainly uh, 10 years on the board at Hilbert uh, not only speaks to um, what you've been able to accomplish, uh, how Hilbert's come along and certainly probably the last year is probably even greater evidence that uh, Hilbert continues to thrive. It's because of folks like yourself and mainly yourself uh, participating on those boards, getting involved in the community and really showing that that matters. If you communicated and gave advice to the Hilbert community like you give advice to your company, your family and your friends, it's very well deserved. I'm lucky because I'm his brother, his friend, 
in a business partner. All I know is uh, going to war every day. There's nobody that I would rather have in my foxhole than my brother Russ. We love you, Grampy. It is my pleasure to introduce our student speakers. Our first speaker representing our undergraduates is McKenna Louise Payton. Ms. Payton will receive her Bachelor of Science degree in criminal justice. Class of 2021, we made it. For those of you who do not know me, my name is McKenna Payton and I am honored to be your commencement speaker. We started this journey as strangers, all coming from different towns, high schools, backgrounds, and beliefs, and are ending it as colleagues. Our paths were lucky enough to cross due to our similar interests for Hilbert. We walk out of Hilbert being educated, well-rounded, and driven individuals, and this is because of the Hilbert experience. By experience, I mean being part of a small, private institution instructed by professors who care. Having the opportunities to be part of clubs and sports teams with endless opportunities and finally, making friends that'll last us a lifetime, but most importantly, the experience of being a hawk. We were all fortunate enough to find Hilbert one way or another, whether it was academics, a professor, the opportunity to play on a sports team, or just feeling that feeling that everyone talks about when it comes to finding college. For me, it was all of what I just mentioned and more. I toured 15 colleges. Shout out to my parents for being my biggest supporters and driving me all over for college visits. Hilbert wasn't a school that was a part of my initial search. Quite honestly, it was a school I had never really considered or even heard of. Until one day, I got an invitation to a criminal justice night at Hilbert. I remember driving to Hamburg with my mom, feeling defeated that I hadn't found my dream college yet. I had a lot of boxes that I wanted to check when it came to college. Sitting at that event, I envisioned my time here at Hilbert. The experiences, the opportunity, and how I would make my mark here. Leaving that event at Hilbert that winter, I knew. I knew Hilbert was the place that had everything I wanted and more. Today, we are at the end of our college journey, but I would ask that you reflect back to our freshman year, specifically your first semester. We all were enrolled in GS 101. This course taught us study skills, how to be organized, and the basics of being a college student. But the most significant impact of this course was learning, understanding, and experiencing our Franciscan values. Those values, little did we know, would be the building blocks of our experience here at Hilbert. Every day, these values are applied across campus, and I'd like to take this time to reflect on the roles these values have played during our time here. Each semester, we were all given a day with no classes, with the intention of participation and service. Those of you who have participation in Day of Service, Unity in Our Community, or Day of Caring can testify to how much peace this experience brought to you. Everyone has the ability to volunteer their time, but being part of an institution that sets aside time for the students to get involved in the community is one of a kind. The overwhelming amount of participation and dedication that we as students put forth to help make Hilbert and our surrounding communities better is astonishing. The compassion that we as students have to take time out of our day to help others is something you do not see everywhere you go. And I am hopeful that we will all continue with this throughout our future. Something else you do not see often in higher education is the level of respect our professors have for us. I challenge you to reflect on your time here at Hilbert and the respect you have received. This could be from a professor, a coach, a faculty, or staff member. When writing this, I was reflecting on my time here at Hilbert the opportunities given, and more specifically, the faculty and staff who had a large impact on my time. And I am thankful to say that there have been so many instances that I have felt respected here, that if I went through it all, we would be here all day. So instead, I would just like to say thank you to all of you. Hilbert has allowed me to get more out of the college experience than I ever could have imagined. Who knew it was possible to be a student athlete, work several on-campus jobs, be an honors and leadership student, as well as find my passion for my future. One person who has truly believed in me and supported me throughout my time here at Hilbert would be my advisor, Professor Nowak. She has been my go-to person here on campus. Professor Nowak has always respected my crazy aspirations, no matter what they were. Professor Nowak 
has always been someone that I can count on when I have questions, just need to run something by someone, or just need some reassurance. I am sure all of you have had a similar experience with a faculty or staff member in the amount of respect and empowerment they have given you. We all have something in our lives that bring us joy. Joy here at Hilbert College for me was residence life. Residence life has played a large role in my college experience. Having had the opportunity to work as a resident assistant since my second semester freshman year has brought me friends and mentors that will last me a lifetime. My direct supervisor, Brett Kane, who is the resident director, has played a large role in my growth, not only as a student, but as a person. Brett has always been someone I can count on to bounce ideas off of, support me, as well as be a mentor I will look up to. We all have heard the statement, see different. Hilbert has taught us how to envision what our future can hold and how to accomplish those dreams. We all walk out of Hilbert with the foundation to be successful no matter where we go. This directly correlates to the opportunity to be involved, educated, and mentored by a faculty and staff that cannot be found anywhere else. This is not how we envisioned our graduation. I'm sure many of you envisioned this day to be filled with photos, celebration, and a sense of pride of getting your diploma handed to you on a stage in front of classmates, faculty, friends, and family. Don't let this ceremony being virtual dull that. We all worked hard for this, and you deserve to celebrate and be recognized for this. So, let's play our part, use the skills and knowledge Hilbert has taught us to be part of the change this world needs, to truly see different and support our future communities, and to continuously celebrate our Hilbert experience throughout our future. Take this time with your families to make this memory one that'll last, and congratulations, Class of 2021. Thank you, McKenna. Our second student speaker represents the graduate degree students. Jocelyn Vey Guthrie will receive her degree in Masters of Public Administration, Health Administration. Good afternoon. Thank you for joining us today. I will also like to commend the faculty class of 2021 family and friends who have joined us today to celebrate our achievement during these unforeseen times. To all the graduates, congratulations. With determination to succeed, we persevered, adapted to change with grace, and achieved a lifelong accomplishment. To our Hilbert family, job well done. Thank you for your intentional encouragement with each of us through your dedication, academic knowledge, and servant leadership, we commend you. Most importantly, thank you to our families for being our support system, allowing us to unselfishly to dedicate this time to our studies to change generations to come. The graduate program has two concentrations of studies, Master's of Science, Criminal Justice Administration, and Masters of Public Administration. Our studies have equipped us to become transformational leaders who can utilize our newfound knowledge to implement operational organizational frameworks, policy change within the public and private sector, and encourage future students to achieve academically. During this time at Hilbert College, we have learned the Franciscan way. We embrace the traditions of St. Francis Respect, service, hope, vision, joy, integrity, compassion, and peace. As we continue our journey within our respected places, let us keep the characteristics of the Franciscan Sister of St. Joseph, always to conduct ourselves with integrity, respect humanity, serve with joy, compassion, and hope, and exemplify Peace to all humankind. As we continue celebrating such an achievement, I would like to leave with you one of my favorite Bible scriptures. With man, this is impossible, but with God, all things are possible. We have collectively achieved this momentous achievement as classmates, friends, and confidants. I encourage you to make lasting footprints wherever your feet may track. Journey well, my friends. Thank you. Thank you, Jocelyn. Will all degree candidates please rise? 
Dr. Brophy, on behalf of the faculty, may I present the candidates for degrees of Master of Public Administration, Master of Science, Bachelor of Arts, Bachelor of Science, and Associate in Arts, who have completed their respective degree requirements. Thank you, Dr. Finney. By virtue of the power vested in me by the Board of Trustees and by the Regents of the University of the State of New York and the faculty agreeing thereto, I now confer upon you, our graduates, the degree of Master of Public Administration, Master of Science, Bachelor of Arts, Bachelor of Science, and Associate in Arts. We are most pleased to present the degrees and all the privileges and honors and responsibilities pertaining thereunto. Congratulations. Abijah Adams, Masters of Science, Master of Criminal Justice Administration. <clears throat> Ashley Elizabeth Bin, Masters of Science, Master of Criminal Justice Administration. Kaylin M. Brigman, Master of Public Administration, Public Administration. Quinslin A. Davis, Master of Public Administration. Amber Dennison, Master of Public Administration, Health Administration. Rachel Devine, Master of Science, Master of Criminal Justice Administration. Leticia Marie Gardner, Master of Public Administration, Health Administration. Alexander Joseph Gill, Masters of Science, Master of Criminal Justice Administration. Mackenzie Aaron Gregory, Masters of Science, Master of Criminal Justice Administration. Madison Alyssa Gregory, Masters of Science, Master of Criminal Justice Administration. <clears throat> Jocelyn Bay Guthrie, Master of Public Administration, Health Administration. Nicholas David Lagana, Masters of Science, Master of Criminal Justice Administration. Samantha Rose Luchek, Master of Public Administration. Jenna Serene Ludlow, Master of Public Administration, Health Administration. Alexandria Virginia Makowski, Master of Science, Master of Criminal Justice Administration. Jessica Marie Marcaccio, Masters of Science, Master of Criminal Justice Administration.
Eric Michael Moist, Master of Science, Master of Criminal Justice Administration. Alec James Nowatka, Master of Science, Master of Criminal Justice Administration. Adam William Noyes, Master of Public Administration. Hardik Kumar Pancho, Master of Public Administration, Health Administration. Felicia A. Patterson, Master of Public Administration, Health Administration. Molly Lynn Renegal, Masters of Science, Master of Criminal Justice Administration. Michelle Ritella, Master of Public Administration, Health Administration. Jonathan Michael Saley, Master of Science, Master of Criminal Justice Administration. Courtney Santacero, Masters of Science, Master of Criminal Justice Administration. <clears throat> Abigail Schumacher, Masters of Science, Master of Criminal Justice Administration. Brianna Spenning, Master of Public Administration, Health Administration. Alexander Toby, Masters of Science, Master of Criminal Justice Administration. Deputy Jason Michael Wall, Masters of Science, Master of Criminal Justice Administration. Madison Welch, Masters of Science, Master of Criminal Justice Administration. Matthew Edward Acker, Bachelor of Arts, Digital Media and Communications. Alicia Mary Alguire, Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice. Tyler Anna, Bachelor of Science, Risk Management, Cum Laude. Jonathan Baco, Bachelor of Science, Forensic Science, Crime Scene Investigation, Magna Cum Laude. Erica Rachel Bates, Bachelor of Science, Business Management. Aiden Joseph Bain, Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice, Magna Cum Laude. Melanie Marie Basil, Bachelor of Science, Business Management. <laughs> Nicole Bazink, Bachelor of Science, Forensic Science, Crime Scene Investigation, Magna Cum Laude. Carl Bruno Boccolucci. 
Bachelor of Science, Business Management. John Brechtel, Bachelor of Science, Cyber Security. Brian Michael Brennan, Bachelor of Science, Business Management. Bailey Marie Brooks, Bachelor of Science, Forensic Science, Crime Scene Investigation. <laughs> Margaret Brown, Bachelor of Science, Human Services. Thomas Jefferson Burgess, Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice. Sheldon Michael Bush, Bachelor of Science, Forensic Science, Crime Scene Investigation. Leah Byrodes, Bachelor of Science, Computer Security Information Assurance, Cum Laude. Jacob Alexander Capacci, Bachelor of Science, Computer Security, Information Assurance. Megan Elizabeth Carlin, Bachelor of Science, Forensic Science, Crime Scene Investigation, Cum Laude. Nicholas J. Carter, Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice. Ian Gilbert Cherico, Bachelor of Arts, Digital Media and Communications. Kaylee Tess Childress, Bachelor of Science, Forensic Science, Crime Scene Investigation, Magna Cum Laude. Adam James Connolly, Bachelor of Arts, Digital Media and Communications. Zachary Michael Crane, Bachelor of Science, Sports Industry Management. Jesse Ann Dangert, Bachelor of Science, Forensic Science, Crime Scene Investigation, Summa Cum Laude. Amanda Rose Dreyer. Bachelor of Science, Forensic Science, Crime Scene Investigation. Matthew Dugan, Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice, Magna Cum Laude. Diana Lee Dermay, Bachelor of Science, Forensic Science, Crime Scene Investigation. Morgan Elizabeth Fickett, Bachelor of Science, Forensic Science, Crime Scene Investigation. Erica Ann Fillick, Bachelor of Science, Human Services, Summa Cum Laude. <laughs> Ashley Hannah Fish, Bachelor of Science, Forensic Science Crime Scene Investigation. Brianna Marie Fisher, Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice. Micaiah Evelyn Forsha, Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice, Summa Cum Laude. Mary Catherine Gibson, Bachelor of Science, Human Services. Nicholas Andrew Gill, Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice, Summa Cum Laude. Kate Lynn Gillian, Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice, Magna Cum Laude. <laughs> Ar 
Elizabeth Frances Gleason, Bachelor of Science, Human Services. Allison Glinsky, Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice. Kayla Alexis Gorney, Bachelor of Science, Human Services, Cum Laude. William Allen Graves, Bachelor of Science, Accounting, Summa Cum Laude. Robert James Green, Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice, Magna Cum Laude. Jake Anthony Griffin, Bachelor of Arts, English, Summa Cum Laude. Caleb Isaac Gross, Bachelor of Science, Forensic Science, Crime Scene Investigation, Magna Cum Laude. Rachel Elise Hare, Bachelor of Science, Forensic Science, Crime Scene Investigation, Magna Cum Laude. Clint Jacob Hassett, Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice, Summa Cum Laude. Tiara Heinz, Bachelor of Science, Political Science, Magna Cum Laude. Andrew David Henry, Bachelor of Science, Cybersecurity, Magna Cum Laude. Emma Sonia Herman, Bachelor of Science, Business Management. Hannah Marie Howie, Bachelor of Science, Forensic Science, Crime Scene Investigation, Magna Cum Laude. Sean Hughes, Bachelor of Science, Cybersecurity, Magna Cum Laude. Daniel Hughes, Bachelor of Science, Accounting, Summa Cum Laude. Virginia Shirley Italia, Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice. <laughs> Kathleen Lynn Jackson, Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice. Zachary David Jezero. Bachelor of Arts, Digital Media and Communications. Angelia Susan Johnson, Bachelor of Science, Forensic Science, Crime Scene Investigation. John Michael Kane, Bachelor of Science, Legal Studies. Alexander Thomas Karamanos, Bachelor of Science, Sports Industry Management. <laughs> Kevin Walter Kazabowski, Bachelor of Science, Cybersecurity, Cum Laude. Marissa Renee Kleinsmith, Bachelor of Science, Forensic Science, Crime Scene Investigation, Cum Laude. <laughs> Jacob Edward Kester, Associates of Arts, Criminal Justice. Emma Justine Koprovich, Bachelor of Science, Business Management, Cum Laude. Philip Brian Krantz, Bachelor of Science, Accounting, Magna Cum Laude. Samantha Marie Lewicki, Bachelor of Science, Forensic Science, Crime Scene Investigation, Summa Cum Laude. Kiana M. Legree, Bachelor of Science, Forensic Science, Crime Scene Investigation. 
cum laude. Nathan W. Madden, Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice. Brandon Jack McCoy, Bachelor of Science, Computer Security Information Assurance. Lindsay Suzanne McKee, Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice, Cum Laude. Joseph Bernard McNabb, Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice. <laughs> Emma Jean McNamara, Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice, Summa Cum Laude. Stephanie Jalei Maria Mercilia, Bachelor of Science Accounting. Gina Marion Mataro, Bachelor of Science Business Management. Justin Michael Mitta, Bachelor of Science Cybersecurity, Summa Cum Laude. Autumn Alexis Miller, Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice, Summa Cum Laude. Destiny Ray Miller, Bachelor of Science, Forensic Science, Crime Scene Investigation. <laughs> Abigail Judith Moeller, Bachelor of Arts, English, summa cum laude. Nicholas James Maury, Bachelor of Science, Forensic Science, Crime Scene Investigation. Haley Elizabeth Munn, Bachelor of Science, Forensic Science, Crime Scene Investigation, Summa Cum Laude. Daniel David Munn, Bachelor of Science, Sports Industry Management. Julia May Murphy, Bachelor of Science, Forensic Science, Crime Scene Investigation. Samantha Namsaran, Bachelor of Science, Forensic Science, Crime Scene Investigation. Christian Michael Nikovsky, Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice. <laughs> Philip Joseph Newton, Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice, Cum Laude. Erica Nicholson, Bachelor of Art, Psychology. Magna Cum Laude. Angelia Ann Obad, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology. Danny Christine Marceline Ostrowski, Bachelor of Science, Forensic Science, Crime Scene Investigation. <laughs> Eleanor Elizabeth Page, Bachelor of Science, Forensic Science, Crime Scene Investigation. Matthew David Palkovic, Bachelor of Science, Business Management, Cum Laude. Marissa Lynn Palmiato, Bachelor of Science, Forensic Science, Crime Scene Investigation, Magna Cum Laude. Samantha Rain Parker, Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice. <laughs> v. 
Victoria Elizabeth Payne, Bachelor of Science, Forensic Science, Crime Scene Investigation, magna cum laude. McKenna Louise Payton, Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice, cum laude. Maggie Lynn Pazino, Bachelor of Science, Forensic Science, Crime Scene Investigation. Gregory Thomas Pazinski, Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice, Cum Laude. Ashley Page Plow, Bachelor of Science in Criminal Justice. Lillian Atunara Pritchard, Bachelor of Science, Political Science, Cum Laude. Brittany Alyssa Perfetta, Bachelor of Science, Forensic Science, Crime Scene Investigation, Magna Cum Laude. Christian Nicholas Prisbala, Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice, Magna Cum Laude. Jacob R. Queter, Bachelor of Science, Forensic Science, Crime Scene Investigation. Emily Christine Rayport, Bachelor of Science, Forensic Science, Crime Scene Investigation. Joe Huey Rappold, Bachelor of Science, Computer Security and Information Assurance. Caitlin Reese, Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice. Tucker Reynolds, Bachelor of Science, Sports Industry Management. Taylor Morgan Richter, Bachelor of Science, Forensic Science, Crime Scene Investigation, Magna Cum Laude. Connor Paul Ricotta, Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice. Michaela Jolene Ricks, Bachelor of Science, Forensic Science, Crime Scene Investigation, Magna Cum Laude. Caitlin Maureen Rogers, Bachelor of Science, Business Management. Phoenix Rollick, Bachelor of Science, Human Services. Todd Romano, Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice. Zachary Mit Michael Rosati, Bachelor of Science, Cybersecurity, Magna Cum Laude. Mitchell Virgil Ruschak, Bachelor of Science, Computer Security and Information Assurance. <laughs> Carolyn Grace Scheibel, Bachelor of Science, Forensic Science, Crime Scene Investigation. Abigail Grace Sharino, Bachelor of Science, Forensic Science, Crime Scene Investigation. (Applause) 
Leah Marie Shanley, Bachelor of Science, Forensic Science, Crime Scene Investigation. Melissa Holly Shepard, Bachelor of Arts, Digital Media and Communications, cum laude. Elizabeth Jean Sicarella, Bachelor of Science, Accounting. Julie Ray Slotman, Bachelor of Science, Accounting. Edward T. Smallman, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology. <laughs> Dylan Arthur Smaz, Associate's Degree, Criminal Justice. Tyler Andrew Smith, Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice, Magna Cum Laude. Ryan Joseph Spath, Bachelor of Science, Forensic Science, Crime Scene Investigation. Brianna Nicole Stegmeyer, Bachelor of Science, Forensic Science, Crime Scene Investigation, Summa cum laude. Christopher John Stillwell, Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice. Shannon J. Stokes. Bachelor of Science, Sports Industry Management. Amber Nicole Stuck, Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice, Summa Cum Laude. Jenny Lee Swierzynski, Bachelor of Science, Accounting, Magna Cum Laude. Derek Clayton Switzer, Bachelor of Science, Forensic Science, Crime Scene Investigation. Matthew Joseph Toronto, Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice, Magna Cum Laude. Christine Timmel, Bachelor of Arts, Digital Media and Communications, Magna Cum Laude. Dylan R. Timmel, Bachelor of Arts, Digital Media and Communications. Anna Gabriela Vargas Perez, Bachelor of Science, Legal Studies, Cum Laude. Ariana May Vaughn, Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice. Robert Louis Vealy, Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice. Joseph Anthony Venezia III, Bachelor of Science, Political Science, Cum Laude. Rebecca Ann Vermilier, Bachelor of Science, Forensic Science, Crime Scene Investigation. Devin Mitchell Waugh, Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice, Summa Cum Laude. Ashlyn Joanna Nettie Weaver, Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice. Noah Aaron Welch, Bachelor of Arts, Digital Media and Communications. Jared Lawrence 
Wolnowski, Bachelor of Science, Accounting. Brendan Scott Wheeler, Associate's Degree, Criminal Justice. Mackenzie Ryan White, Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice, summa cum laude. Emily Madonna Wicket, Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice, summa cum laude. Dominique Lachelle Winfield, Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice. Adriana Malin Denise Wright, Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice. <clears throat> Ryan Fox Zunner, Bachelor of Science, Digital Media and Communications. Alexandra Michelle Zerbrick, Bachelor of Arts, English, summa cum laude. Many students have been recognized for their accomplishments in the classroom, in athletics, and in student life. Please refer to your commencement program for a full list of awards, and today we'll present five special awards. I'd like to call forward William Allen Graves. The Lambert and Margaret Graham Award is bestowed annually upon the adult student who, as a full-time student at Hilbert College, has maintained the highest cumulative quality grade point average. This award is presented to William Allen Graves. Congratulations, William. Congratulations. Thank you. I appreciate it. I'd like to call forward Rebecca Vermillier. The Kimberly Brooke Rachowski Memorial Alumni Association Award is named in honor of a 1991 graduate, a woman whose zest for life at Hilbert College made her untimely death all the more tragic. This award is bestowed upon a person who personifies integrity and moral character, a person who exhibits leadership qualities and reflects the spirit of Hilbert College. This year's award is presented to Rebecca Vermillier. Congratulations, Rebecca. Congratulations. I would like to call forward Mackenzie Ryan White. The Sister Mary Edwina Bogle Award, named for the founder of the college, is bestowed annually upon the graduate whose character, intellectual achievement, and devoted services to fellow students and to the college render them outstanding. This year's award is presented to Mackenzie Ryan White. Congratulations, Mackenzie. Congratulations. I'd like to call forward one of our graduates, John Bechtel. John? John Kissel Award, named in honor of a man whose life was dedicated to the good of Hilbert College students, is granted to the graduate whose character, 
intellectual progress, organizational abilities, and participation in activities and programs of the college render them outstanding. The award this year is presented to John Bechtel. John, congratulations. My great honor to introduce to you Courtney Santacero. Courtney? The St. Catherine Medal for Student Achievement is an annual award awarded to colleges and universities affiliated with Kappa Gamma Pi, the National Catholic College Graduate Honor Society. The St. Catherine Medal is the highest honor given to graduate students at Hilbert College. St. Catherine Medal recognizes graduate students who represent the high ideals of Catholic college education. The recipients, like Courtney, are selected on the basis of leadership and service to the college and the greater community. Courtney has performed at the highest levels with her studies while maintaining our core values at Hilbert College. Respect, service, compassion, peace, hope, joy, integrity, and vision. Please join me in congratulating Courtney Santacero. Last year, the Hilbert community was saddened by the loss of two of our graduates, Corey Lynn Shearing and Brittany Seuss Summers, were both members of the class of 2021. The families of Corey and Brittany will receive posthumous certificates of recognition for their coursework completed towards their respective undergraduate degrees. Another group of people that we would like to recognize today are our veterans and those currently serving in the military. Would all the veterans and those currently serving in the military among our students, faculty, staff, and members of our family homes, please stand up. In a special way, we recognize our veteran graduates, William Allen Graves. John Michael Kane, Victoria Elizabeth Payne, and Joe Rappold. And now, to welcome our newest alumni, is the president of the Hilbert College Alumni Association, Paul Lipke, class of 2013. It is my honor to be here today, not only as a proud alumnus, but as president of the Hilbert Alumni Association. Today, on this incredibly special occasion, we celebrate your accomplishments, but also the rich history of Hilbert as we send you out into the world. The Alumni Association provides a vital link between the 8,000 living alumni and the college through our student programs, career networking, alumni events and reunions, pre and post COVID that is, and charitable support. However, there is an additional important responsibility that comes with being part of this association. So if you don't mind, I'd like to give you one final assignment. As a proud alum, we ask you to go and tell the story of Hilbert College. Tell them about the caring community that you have been a part of and the opportunities you have had to study in a nationally recognized college. Tell them about the opportunity to learn from faculty, to participate in research, the opportunities for internships, and to be at a place where faculty knows your name. Uh, tell them this story with a grateful, open heart, letting them know that Hilbert gave you the opportunity to make an impact, not only while you studied here, but now also in the world. So now, it is my distinct honor to officially induct you into the Hilbert College Alumni Association. On behalf of all alumni, 
we welcome you with great pride, the class of 2021. We look forward to seeing you, hearing from you, and learning about your lives after Hilbert. Do not forget to share the Hilbert story with those you meet in this world. It is, after all, your story. Congratulations again, class of 2021. We will soon complete our ceremony with a closing prayer. But before that, please allow the college to express the gratitude we have to the families and loved ones who have made the journey with our graduates. We thank you for sharing your sons, daughters, and loved ones with us. You knew how special they were when they came to Hilbert, and now we know how unique, talented, and inspiring they can be. So I ask the faculty, our staff, and the Hilbert College Board of Trustees to join me in thanking you for sharing what you treasure most with the Hilbert College community. Next, the college wishes to express our gratitude to our students for the joyful inspiration you are for all of us. It was an unforgettable year, one in which we worked together to keep everyone healthy and safe, all the while making the best of difficult and unforgettable experience. Each day, our faculty and staff were inspired by you, our graduates, as you came together to learn, create, and innovate. So I now turn again to our faculty, to our staff, and the Board of Trustees, and ask them to join me in thanking you for the inspiration and joy you have brought to our community. Associates, bachelors, masters, son, daughter, mother, father, uncle, aunt, full-time, part-time, and for some, long time. No matter where you come from, no matter what you came to study, or how you plan to move on, you are Hilbert. You are part of a 900-year Franciscan tradition of living and working together in community. As you leave, we only ask that you sustain the Franciscan way as you go into new communities. And as you enter new communities, know that you will learn from others and know we will pray for you as you make your way forward into a world that needs you to sustain the Franciscan charism shared with us by the Franciscan Sisters of St. Joseph. Today we presented you with role models, Dr. Suda, Professor Sisti, Trustee Corigliano, McKenna Louise Payton, Jocelyn Guthrie, Sister Marcia Ann Fiutko, and Paul Letke. As you know, there are many more, and we will all miss you when you leave. But leave us knowing that we were inspired by you and your families. Fate brought you to Hilbert, and fate will now bring you to the next phase of your exciting life. Now I will ask the ad graduates to stand for two remaining items. Finally, the moment we've all been waiting for, graduates, please take the tassel on your mortarboard and move it from right to left. Congratulations. Congratulations. Thank you, all of you, for celebrating with us today. God bless your families, and God bless Hilbert College. Everyone, please stand for our final prayer. The Franciscan Sisters of St. Joseph would like to offer this blessing of St. Clara of Assisi to all our graduates. I invite all my sisters and all who are watching this video to extend your hands over our graduates as Sister Edmonette Luchesny, former Hilbert College president, leads us in this benediction. What you hold, may you always hold. What you do, may you always do and never abandon. But with swift pace and a light step and unswerving feet, so that even your steps stir up the dust. May you go forward securely and joyfully and swiftly on the path of prudent. Believing nothing, 
agreed with nothing which would dissuade you from this resolution, or which would place a stumbling block for you on the way. Go with God, and may God always go with you. Amen. And we now offer this blessing to our entire Hilbert family, and that includes all of you who are watching this video. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May he smile upon you, and may he give you peace. Graduates, go also with the love and prayers of your family and friends, of our Hilbert family, and those of the Franciscan Sisters of St. Joseph. Congratulations, we're so very proud of you.